The Rubik's Cube may be the best-selling toy of all time, and it's certainly the most well-known twisty puzzle ever made. However, second place would have to be the Pyraminx. Invented by Uwe Meffert in 1970, even before the cube itself, it would not be produced until 1981, after the success of the cube. So how did it come about? In 1970, Uwe Meffert was conducting some personal research into whether handling different 3D shapes had an impact on people's well-being and the bioenergy flow of the body. He created the five platonic solids out of wood, but soon became bored and cut them up into pieces and attached them to a ball with rubber bands. He was soon encouraged by his friends to turn the tetrahedron into a full puzzle. With the help of his brother, he developed an ingenious mechanism which allowed the pieces to rotate around each other. The original version was made from varnished wood. While he noticed that it instilled a sense of peace and calmness, he did not feel that many others would be interested, and so he placed them in a drawer to gather dust. Then, in 1981, he was again encouraged to market the puzzle, and he agreed after seeing how successful the Rubik's Cube was. After travelling to Hong Kong and Japan to talk with various companies, Uwe managed to strike a deal with Tomy and patented the puzzle. Production started not long afterwards, and they were an instant success, with over 10 million being sold by Christmas that same year. Nowadays, many, many people enjoy solving the puzzle, and it has become an integral part in the cubing community. That's the story that everyone knows. What a lot of people don't know is that he may have been beaten by just a couple of months by a little-known Soviet inventor named Alexander Ordinets. Not much is known about him, but the little information that we do have is rather striking. Alexander filed a patent for his Pyraminx in February of 1981, a full two months before Uwe did, without any knowledge of his design. The same patent also contains descriptions of the Dino Cube, a corner-turning octahedron, and a variation of a Compi Cube. In a short TV segment, he is seen building a working model of the octahedron, along with mock-ups of other puzzles of his. The inventions that he created are really quite remarkable. His patent list also includes a variation of the Harbin Maya Pyramid, a Kilominx, an icosahedral equivalent of a Megaminx, and even a Master Pyraminx. The latter was produced as a test in extremely small quantities, but never fully realised, making it one of the rarest twisty puzzles in history. His Pyraminx did end up being produced by various unknown Soviet companies for a short period, but not much else is known. Unfortunately, there's a good chance that we may never find out more. His son, Oleg, did not have many memories of his father's puzzles, and his wife reportedly burned all his documents regarding puzzles after he died. However, the few pieces of information that have been gathered show a remarkable man with a true passion for puzzle creation. If things had turned out differently, maybe many of his inventions would have come to light earlier and more puzzles would be in mass production. Nevertheless, Alexander was an incredible builder, and he will not be forgotten.